Greetings. Welcome to Sue's Side Salad. I'm Sue Humvig. My father never loved me. Today we will be making Spinaci Meraviglia, a salad so delicious that I just might be able to rip you out of your seemingly never-ending depression, but most likely it won't. First off, you'll need a large bunch of leafy spinach. Wash it off and then squeeze it dry. I prefer using a belt because it's sure to squeeze out every last breath, I mean drop of water. Then take the spinach over to the cutting board, finely chop your spinach and try to resist the urge to open up a veiny gate to the sweet release of death. And then take your chopped spinach over to its final resting place, the salad bowl. Next, you'll need some diced shallots. If you can't find any shallots, who cares? No one loves you anyway. So, once your shallots are chopped up and destroyed, much like your spirit, toss them into a heated skillet and saute them until they are golden brown. Now, saute, of course, is French for jumped, something we've all almost done off a tall building after we found out we were fired, cheated on, infertile, or just plain useless. Get out of my way. Now what some kooky culinary fans like to do is to take some red pepper slices and make a little heart arrangement on the top of the salad. I prefer the broken heart variety for personal reasons with a toothpick jammed into the middle to represent the arrow of deceit that your lover planted there and a little note addressed to them blaming them for everything that's gone wrong in your life. But, uh, what's the point of making a nice arrangement? No one appreciates a goddamn thing you do anyway. Now, pour the salad dressing that you seasoned with oregano, sun-dried tomatoes, and your own solemn tears all over the salad. And as we all know, nothing tosses a salad quite like a swift game of Russian roulette. And finally, you can remove the croutons you've been toasting in the oven, and remember to curse the name of God for making the house you plan to kill yourself in come complete with an electric oven. No need to use oven mitts if you hate yourself. Toss in the croutons, you know. Who cares? Go, uh, go ahead and throw in some marshmallows and some donuts. No one's coming over for dinner, because you're clearly going to die alone. I was Sue Humvig. Join me next week in the event that the broom breaks.